Good morning, guys. It is July 3rd or um, cycle day 13. So last week I took my Clomid and everything went very well during it. Um, I had really, really good reactions to it. Hot flashes, which is, you know, I just deal with it. And then a little bit of cramping, but nothing compared to what I had last round. So that was amazing. My five days went really fast, really easy. So now um, this is ovulation week. So I've been testing. I haven't reached a peak yet, but I'm getting there. It's increasing daily. So um, just like normal with Clomid, I'm starting to get like the ovulation um, cramping. I always know, like I can pretty much tell when my body's getting ready to ovulate or when it is ovulating. Like I've learned to master how I feel. But on Clomid, it just amplifies everything. So I've had really bad cramping all day, but it's okay. It's fine. Nothing we can't handle. So I just wanted to jump on here and check in with you guys really fast. Um, just to kind of let you know where we're at. Cycle day 13. So far, so good. Hey guys, happy July 4th or cycle day 14 for updates. So I finished my full round of Clomid. Everything went really, really well. So now I'm in my fertile week and I'm getting the normal cramping from ovulation. Plus it's always a little bit stronger from Clomid. So I'm getting, I wouldn't say like severe cramps, but cramps that are worse than normal, if that makes sense. Um, I haven't really been feeling that well. I did so good with the end of Clomid and Met, I'm still on Metformin, but Clomid and stuff like the week of taking Clomid was so good. My body just reacted so, so well, which was amazing. Um, but now I'm sitting here the week of my fertile window and just not feeling a hundred percent. Like today, my stomach's upset. So, but just chugging through and hanging in there. And I just wanted to update you guys. Hey guys, it's July 8th, 2019. And sorry, I'm already emotional, but I'm just a mess. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, anyways, so I just left my gynecologist's office again. I just went there this time for my annual checkup. And, um, I told her, like, oh, our fertile window just ended. So I really hope, or I would, like, wish there was a way you guys could tell if I was pregnant now. Of course, there's not. So, she just kind of talked to me a little bit about, you know, if this doesn't work again she thinks that I'll have to just go to a fertility specialist and then she gave me this paperwork and I just feel super emotional about it because I don't know it's just so crazy I really just pray that we don't get to that point and that you know this month gives us our miracle baby or next month of our clomid and metformin gives us our miracle baby but just getting that paperwork and knowing like that's the next step just like really hurts my heart and it just makes me so sad and then it's so funny because going to the gynecologist like I don't even care anymore I just go and everything's fine but today like there was two pregnant girls oh someone with a baby and it was just super hard anyways I just wanted to check in talk to you guys later hey guys so it is currently July 12th or cycle day 22 Figured I would just catch up with you guys really quick. I kind of look like crap. I just washed my face and decided I should probably catch up with you guys. Even though I wish I would have done it before I washed my face. <laughs> Got makeup on and look decent, but that is fine. So like I said, I'm currently cycle day 22, or yeah, 22 and it's July 12th. And um, this is still within my cycle where we did 100 milligrams of Clomid and Metformin. Um, body's still reacting pretty good. I think metformin has finally like leveled itself out. I'm not really having any issues with that, which is beautiful. Um, I am, yeah, I have been having a lot of cramping the last couple of days, which could be implantation cramping, which, oh my God, please, please let it be implant. Sorry, these, okay. Please let it be implantation cramping because that would be just ideal and absolutely amazing. So yesterday I went and got blood work done and they tested my, pro I cannot say this word to save my life, but it's progress, I'll put it right here, <laughs> levels. And what it does is it lets you know, um, you're supposed to get it done when you're on cycle day 21, which was yesterday. And it lets you know if you ovulated this cycle. So anything over 10 is good. Um, 
and then medicated, since I was medicated this cycle with Clomid and Metformin, anything higher is even better. So I came back at a 17, so it does show that I ovulated and that everything worked perfectly. So we just gotta hope that little sperm met the egg and that it's all working in my body. Um, Other than the cramping, you know, everything's the same. I don't have sore boobs, anything. I've been super tired, but I've also been working really hard these last couple of days, so. I feel like every time I say I'm super tired, I yawn and I feel like an idiot, but it's fine. So, but I've been working just a little bit harder these last couple of days because my supervisor and them are back in town. So, like today I work 9 to like 6.30ish and I'm just beat. So, I just figured I would catch up with you guys really quick. And period's supposed to start in like a week. So, fingers crossed for me. Say a little prayer that it does not start. Hey guys, it's cycle day, I think it's 27. Um, it is July 17th and I have three days till my period. Just wanted to check in. I've been getting some cramping and stuff and it's so hard um, because I don't know, is it pregnancy cramping? Is it period cramping or is it cramping from Clomid? But um, I've been taking tests every day, which is kind of obsessive, but I really had good feelings this month. But every day it's been negative, so I have a feeling this month is a no-go unless some miracle happens. Um, feeling kind of emotional today too, which also shows me that my period's probably coming, which just sucks. But just figured I'd check in with you guys because I haven't in a couple of days. So yeah, still negative pregnancy test. Praying for a miracle. Morning guys, figured I'd give you a little update. It is um, July 29th and it's cycle day 8 and I'm currently on day 4 of Clomid. Obviously Clomid last month didn't work, period came like normal. Um, they did test my um, levels, they did blood work on me to make sure I did ovulate and I did. My levels were great, she said, so everything looked good. I ovulated, but still no baby. So with that being said, um, this is the last round of 100 milligram Clomid, and I'm just kind of deflated, sort of. Like, I feel like we're just going through the motions again for another negative test. That's kind of where I'm at or where I feel sorry it hit on me. So I don't have much hope, which is bad, and I know I should, but it's just the truth. But yeah, Clomid is doing everything it's done before, hot flashes, I'm really not sleeping well, and I don't know if it's stress, I don't know if it's Clomid or what, but I'm not sleeping good at all, and then I just feel really sad all the time, and I also don't know if that's Clomid or just me being over this whole journey, <laughs> so I just want to touch base with you guys because it's been a little while, and I hope you guys are doing good, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, it is September 6th. It is currently two o'clock in the afternoon and I am sitting across the street from this big scary building, which is IVF Michigan. So today is the day I mentioned to you guys like in July that I got all the paperwork and today is officially our first appointment. My appointment is at 2.30. Dennis had a job interview today, but he is rushing to get himself here. So he is here with me because I'm a little nervous and apprehensive and anxious. And, um, you know, you just don't know what to expect. So, haven't talked to you guys in quite some time because nothing has happened. Um, Clomid, my two rounds of 100 milligrams obviously did not work or else I wouldn't be here today. Um, so those didn't work. So this is where we're at. I'm very excited to start this new journey and see where it takes us. I actually had a friend that I went to high school reach out to me and she went to IVF Michigan and she did all the testing and then ended up having to do IVF and she is currently 15 weeks pregnant. So she said that she loves this place. The doctor that I actually got, um, that I'm going to be seeing today, she absolutely loves him. And I don't know, I'm just excited. Speaking of all this, the pregnant lady is walking through the parking lot. So hopefully that's a good omen. Anyways, though, I will touch base with you guys when we're leaving. Hey 
Hey guys, so totally far to touch base with you guys yesterday when I left the doctor's appointment just because things were a little crazy there. Um, so yeah, I figured I would touch base now. It's September 7th, so it's Saturday now. We're waiting for Colty to come over. Colt and my nephew, we are babysitting him all day. So we're super pumped about that. Um, but yeah, so we got there and everyone is super, super nice. And I really like the RE. I think he's super good at his job and at his trade he's very sensitive to our feelings and our emotions through this time and um he just made dennis and i feel really really comfortable so that was amazing so something he like kind of talked about like our history we had to talk about that a lot everything we've tried during these two years um so they kind of wanted to touch base on that then he literally said to us what do you want what do you want your outcome to be he's like i know you want to get pregnant he's like we will get you there i have no doubt we just need to know like what you want to do so i told him that i don't want to take any more medication like clomid or anything like that so he actually took me off metformin for now he said if i need to go back on it for any reason he will put me back on it but for now he said just to get off of it so currently the only thing i'm taking is prenatals then I told him um, that I kind of want to take steps to doing an IUI. He 100% agreed. So what we did yesterday is they took my blood work to test everything and I actually passed out, which is crazy. Um, I was out for close to a minute. They had to use smelling salts to bring me back, like back to, which is kind of nuts. I've never had that happen. Um, I mean, I've passed out before, but never for that long. So it was very eventful, hence why I forgot to update you guys. I came home and then whenever I pass out, I get a severe headache. So I was dealing with that, but so they took my blood work. Um, they have Dennis starting on this pill called Fertile Aid that you just buy off Amazon. So he, sorry, my hair is driving me insane. So he's starting on that. Um, it should be here Sunday, tomorrow. And then after like four to six weeks of him taking that, he has to get tested again to see if it's like upped anything or progressed anything. Then cycles day six to 11, I'm going to do a saline ultrasound. And what that does is they inject stuff in me to make sure it's flowing through like the fallopian tubes correctly to make sure there's no blockages or anything like that, which I'm excited for. And then depending on Dennis's test, my ultrasound, we will head towards an IUI. So Fingers crossed, guys. Keep us in your prayers. You guys are all in my prayers. And I will keep you updated on this crazy, crazy journey.